everyone. This is Ellie with Mattermost Product Marketing. I'm here today to give you a walkthrough of our new Getting Started with Playbooks guide. So we just published this on mattermost.com in the blog where you can find it and uh, read the intro for sure before you get started. And then I'll join you in the hands-on section down below. For this tutorial, you'll need a free account on community.mattermost.com. That's our open source collaboration space where we actually build Mattermost with contributors from all over the world. So we'll go ahead and sign in here. That drops us into channels. So you'll see all of our community channels on the side. And I'm going to navigate to playbooks. So that's in the global navigation up here. We'll see channels, boards, and playbooks. Once in playbooks, this view shows the runs, it's showing my current runs. If I uncheck that, this is everybody else's runs. I'm going to click over to the playbooks tab, though where I can create playbooks from a template across the top or from scratch with the big blue button. If we scroll down, we'll see everybody else's playbooks. So today I'm gonna to use the featured lifecycle template. Uh, it's a good example that has a lot of tasks in it already. So you'll get an idea of how you could use a playbook. So I'll click that to start. I'm gonna set it to private since we're just testing things out. So today I'm gonna to call this my first playbook and this is a description of what the playbook could be used for and i'll click create playbook so here we are this is the configuration for the playbook itself we've got several tabs across the top here checklists actions status updates and retrospective and we have a lot of uh, checklist items underneath I'm going to go ahead and just collapse these. You can see the big plan, kickoff, build, ship, and follow up. Under kickoff, I'm going to go ahead and add a new task so we can experience that. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to do something simple. I'm going to remind channel of feature kickoff. And to do that, I'm going to add a slash command. And I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to have it post a message to the channel that says at channel reminder to prepare for our first meeting. Cool. So here's a whole new task. And I'm going to use little grab bars on the side here to move that up to the top of the kickoff section. So we use the scroll wheel on my mouse, it's much faster. Go back up to the other tabs. We've also got actions. And under actions, I'm going to say that when a run starts, I'll create a private channel. I'm going to have the template for the channel name be feature name. So we'll fill in the name every time we create a new run. And I'm gonna invite a couple members just to demonstrate. I'll invite myself. This is all on the public community server. And that'll do for now. I'm going to leave assign the owner role set to the default off. That will just assign the playbooks creator as the owner for every run. And you'll notice there are some other things you can update in here too. There's the run summary. This you'll update every time you start a run. Um, and a welcome message that will post to anyone who joins the channel. We've also got status updates. I'm gonna leave these enabled. That will ask you to post an official status update for the run at certain intervals. And you can put any time interval in here. You want five minutes, three hours, seven days. You can fill in a template for the status updates. You can also broadcast updates to other channels. Do you wanna let more people outside of those involved directly in your playbook run know about updates. Um, for example, the entire marketing team, you could select that channel here. And then the retrospective is just going to give you a template for the retrospective, which will run at the end of a run. All right, I think that's about it for now. So we'll just click save. And here's my playbook preview, it shows all the checklists here. And the usage tab currently has no data in it. So we're gonna come back to that. 
Um, if I messed something up, I can always hit edit, change things here. And of course, in the future, when we have finished a run and review with the team in the retrospective, anything that's a miss can be edited in the playbook so that for future runs, it's updated. Right now, I'm gonna click run to run this playbook. Alrighty, so here we see I'm the owner. It does a little check just in case you didn't mean to run somebody else's playbook, you can click here to create your own playbook. But this is clearly referencing my first playbook and the run name, I'm going to go ahead and replace name with um, testing the getting started guide and start the run. Cool, so now we're here in the side-by-side -side view. Here we've got a private messaging channel since we set it to private um, where everybody you've added as a participant is included as well as anyone who has selected auto follow runs back on that playbook preview page. Uh, here we'll see any messages between participants. And in the sidebar, we've got that description up top. We've got the owner, which we can change. We've got any participants. And we've got the post update button. And then there's all our checklists down below here. And here's that run command I, I added. That's cool. Some navigational details, we can make the sidebar bigger, we can make it smaller. We can click here to go back to the overview and go back to the channel. There's lots of ways to navigate in Mattermost. We can also just close the sidebar with this little clipboard icon. And if you get really lost, you can always go back to the global navigation, click playbooks. Here's your run in progress and open up the channel again to find some tasks. So in the checklist here, you just click on this little um, icon with a plus sign. And I'm gonna assign myself. At Mattermost, we actually assign tasks as we go and the run owner is responsible for that. So whenever one task is completed, the run owner will go back and say, aha, we'll assign this next, next task to the next participant. That varies from team to team, and we are deploying a feature soon to pre-assign roles. So you'll see updates on that in the near future. All right, so that's assigning tasks. Next up, we're going to add a task, just in case we forgot something. So in this top section, I will add a task, and I'll call it um, forgotten task. That thing I just remembered. And this is also movable, so I can reorder these. Next, we're going to complete a task. So why don't we do this kind of fun one that we created under kickoff. I'm going to click run to run that slash command with slash echo, which will instantly post to the channel and message everybody who's participating. So that means my other account just got a ping. And then I'm going to check off my task. So I'll just check the box. We're all done. Um, while you're in here, feel free to check a few more boxes, add a few more tasks, whatever you like. Uh, I'm going to check off this one I assigned to my other account. And I'm just going to take a quick tour over here to the playbook spot. So if we were running this longer then the playbook spot would have many interactions with us, um, you'll get reminders of assigned tasks, forgotten tasks. So you'll see my playbook spot history is pretty rich at this point. Um, I will tell you about overdue status updates, outstanding tasks. You can see I've run this a few times. Um, runs in progress, whatever you have afoot. So if it's not notified you recently and you're curious what you have, you can just use the slash command playbook to do, which will get you the latest and greatest updates from the playbook bot. So here I can see in my current playbook, feature testing the getting started guide, I have this task assigned to myself as demo, demo user. So I'll just click that. That brings me back to the side-by-side -side view and I will check off that task I assigned to myself. Now, the last thing I wanted to show everybody while we're in this tutorial is adding something to the run timeline. So if you didn't notice it earlier, I'm gonna navigate back to the run overview with the sidebar here up at the top three little dots, go to run overview. 
And under retrospective, we'll see, this is the final retrospective report on the left, which we're not gonna fill in quite yet, but the timeline on the right, if I click filter, show all events, shows everything that's happened in the course of this playbook run. So since I started the run, all these things have happened. I have joined the channel, I've changed to signees, I've run the slash command, I've checked off an item, but what if something happened outside of that run? Like there's a message in channels that this playbook doesn't know about, and I wanna add that. So I'm gonna go over to channels. I'm gonna to go to reception, and I'm just going to borrow this post from Katie about the roadmap, great roadmap channel, definitely check that out too. Click the three little dots here and add to run timeline. I'm going to select my playbook run, and I'll keep the summary here. If the beginning of this message was something less obvious, I might want to change it just so I can see it at a glance in the timeline. I'll add to the timeline. And then I'll click back over here in the channels to my playbook run channel and back to run overview, retrospective. And here we'll see Katie's message right at the top. So this is chronological. So that message from January comes before we started the run on February 8th. So now we're going to post an update. I'll just click this big blue post update button. I'm not gonna post a gift, gift today, but I will just say, this is going great so far. You can put whatever you want in here. Um, use markdown formatting, of course. And then I'll set my timer for the next update to 30 seconds. Will it do that for me? I think it will. Yep. Post update. And that posts the update here as well as on the playbook overview page. So that'll show here in the overview under the summary. Here's the update we just posted. Now, if I go back to the channel, any second now, the playbook's bot should be pinging me. There we go. So I get a little notification over here from the playbook spot. I'll click here and it just says status update is overdue for my current run. So I'll click back. Here we see the post update button is red and I could post an update. I'm actually just gonna snooze it for seven days so I can finish out this tutorial. And at this point, you could continue checking off tasks, playing around or just scroll to the bottom and click finish run. Yes, there are 15 outstanding tasks. That's okay for right now. Uh, at this point, I'm going to say yes, start the retrospective. And here you can add details on whatever happened during the course of this playbook, like stop failing to update when the bot asks. Anyway, you can fill that out in as much detail as you want. Um, reference the timeline on the side here so we can filter for all kinds of different stuff. And when you're done, just hit publish. This cannot be edited. Yes, I definitely want to publish. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to click back over to the playbook proper from my run and then to the usage screen again. And now we'll see that one run has been finished. We've had one active user. Oh, two active users. I forgot my other self. And um, all previous runs listed down at the bottom here. So we can always go back in, review, take a look around, see what happened. That's always gonna be available and you'll see all runs from this playbook in the same place. So it's a great way to get an overview and see all the data collected together. That's pretty much it for today. Um, I hope you all had fun and learned a lot and are eager to continue. We've also got a handful of really useful resources. So once you've gone through this guide, you may be interested in learning more. There's of course, lots in the Mattermost documentation in the Mattermost roadmap. We've got a post on the latest in playbooks. And of course, definitely once you're on the community server, join the Ask Anything community channel, which is a fantastic place to truly ask anything. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, let me know what you think. And I hope to see you around on community.mattermost.com. Thank you.